Dorian is at the beach right now. It may not look like it. It may look like he's here at Tomorrow Lab, but he's not. He's at the beach, thanks to the Bose AR radar app. How do you find this AR experience? It's, there's no AR. Okay. There's no AR. You can see here on the phone, as you move your head around, it's positioning using an accelerometer, I'm guessing, but it's not very quick. And for really good spatial audio tricks to work, it has to be instantaneous. There could be no lag. And this has like maybe, I would say, 200, 300 milliseconds of delay. Yeah. All right, let's tear this out. Ta-da! The Bose AR glasses. The frames have a FPC cable insert molded in, as well as these nice little metal brackets on the side that the what do you call this part of the glasses? The stems? The arms? arms. <laughs> this part of the glasses gets mounted onto. And of course, the arms of the glasses are where the magic is. What do we see inside? So the left side has the battery part and it's connected all the way to the PCB on the right side. And you got the battery being charged, I believe, on the other side where the main chip is. All the magic is happening on the right side. Of the device. Unless batteries are magic to you, in which case the magic is on the left side because that's where the battery kind of is. Magic. Yeah. Um, I broke this FPC cable off. This is interesting. They have a connector on the right side, but they just saw to stick it down on the left side. My theory is that because they have no driver on the left side, they just want to make sure it's a good contact and not mm. rely on two connectors. Smart. Yeah. Um, we have on the right side this pass through switch duder, which clicks this very teeny tiny switch right here it's a right angle switch and that you use for all your ui functions on the device also on the right side we've got the pogo pins here which make contact with these contacts here and that lets them pass through your contacts from the usb cable onto the main pcb and that's where you set the charging ic is yeah there are also these little magnets that are inserted here uh, that are just going to keep jumping around while we work on this. They just like to, they just, they're just frisky little magnets. And those were amazingly held down by this piece of Kapton tape, which sure doesn't seem very production ready. Yeah. We have a single microphone over here that's picking up audio for your chatty chatties. It has two holes on the inside right here. We don't know why there's two holes because we're not audio engineers, um, but it has a for like some like air. Yeah, just like increase system. the amount of air movement. It's like, yeah, it's like a tiny speaker. Yeah. And then it was covered by this super thin membrane right here. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a rubber boot around the microphone as well, which I think is used to protect against water ingress and to isolate sound. Um, and then the audio goes into these really lovely lightweight speakers. Um, it's a lot of surface area. So that's a 14 millimeter driver. Um, and we found that they're pushing air out of both sides. So the air that comes out the front of the speaker shoots out this port here. So you basically get those vibrations and mid and low sounds placed right here on your ear. And I think that's pretty important because I think that's where a lot of hearing happens, uh, you know, your ears. <laughs> um, and then they have on the backstroke of the speaker, vibrations coming out this bass port here. And then these two other ports are actually routed from the back of the speaker through a hole in the housing and then out here. And we think that might be how they do some like interesting audio engineering to give you some of that spatial sense, uh, which just seems important for their AR experience. Yeah. Um, overall, not a great AR device. No, no. It, it sounds nice though. We had a lot of fun tearing down these Bose AR glasses. Uh, like and subscribe to this channel if you're on YouTube. Like and follow us if you like this video. <laughs> follow us if you like this video. Thanks, guys. <laughs>